What's up, beautiful people? It's your boy, Justin Martin. It has been a minute since I've done a video. Lots been going on. If you've been following me on social media, my wife and I just had our first child. I said, we have a girl, her name's Evinia, but we'll get to that life update eventually. But today I just wanna to talk to you about the new update that we've all been waiting for, in particular, the Pocket 4K community. We've been waiting for anamorphic mode and some of the new features coming to this camera. And I'm very excited. I just jumped out and did some tests today. I need to do some more testing just to see how stable this update is. But for the most part, I'm very happy to see that I'm able to shoot anamorphic natively, de-squeezed in camera without using a third party monitor or anything like that to kind of see what I'm seeing. Now I did shoot a short film called Lost Souls with the anamorphic lenses that I currently use, which is the SLR Magic uh, 35 and 50 and 70, but I primarily use the 35 for most of those shots. And what I had to do basically is use a monitor and I had to just de-squeeze my image there. And it was kind of difficult to use it that way, focusing and stuff like that. But I, I managed it. I, well, anyway, go check it out, watch it. That was very different of how to use it. And I made another video about using anamorphic on the pocket without having the anamorphic mode built in. So definitely check those things out. But today I want to show you all what this means, the 2. 8k resolution anamorphic mode for the pocket and how it looks on these lenses um so i'm gonna start rambling and show you some test footage yeah Now right off the bat, it's really nice to see a previewed de-squeezed image right on the back of the pocket. Uh, it just makes it already much easier to focus, to see what your composition looks like, all these things right on the camera. So that's a <laughs> much welcomed feature um, and that's probably the biggest feature for me for this update. Now moving on to the optics, since you are using a crop of the sensor, um, you won't experience as much distortion on your edges as if you were to use this as a 16 by 9 sensor like I did previously. So this is a welcome change. So the 35 still has a distortion because it's the widest of the anamorphic lenses. And this distortion relatively gets tightened up as you go down the focal uh, range of the lenses. So the 50 and the 70 are a little bit less distorted. You'll have stronger characteristics in Iboka in the background. But right off the back, I even like these lenses even more on this camera. So. Now another noticeable change in the workflow of dealing with anamorphic. Previously, I had to calculate what my output resolution and crop will be in DaVinci Resolve. But now, which is a very welcome change, as soon as I put in the footage in DaVinci Resolve, it automatically de-squeezes itself to the CineScope format. And that is freaking awesome. So kudos to you guys for building that in. So yeah, I just wanted to throw this video out there. That was my main thing I was really excited for was having the anamorphic mode. I am going to do probably another video about some more of the features from this update, but that's what matters to me. I really like shooting anamorphic and I'm hoping to get more into that moving forward in the future. So stay tuned for other content coming out. I have a lot of content to, to upload, but thank you all for uh, support and sharing my videos and, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace.